Okay, I was about to start recording, and then my roommate started recording for her third graders downstairs, so that's not gonna work. Hey everyone, welcome to Back Road Runway. My name is Stephanie. Today what I'm going to do is I have a couple of thrift flips that I have already done, and I'm going to show you guys those, and I'm also going to do a few quick fixes to a couple of them, so let's get into that. The first thing I have, I don't actually have to do any fixes to it because um, it's finished, so um, I made this jean skirt. Um, I'm going to link the tutorial that I used by the Nava Rose in the description below. Um, but basically I just cut off the legs and um, sewed them along this line here um, on top of each other. And then I did the same thing along the back. Um, I frayed the bottom, made a couple of um, cuts here and then like pulled out the threads with a seam ripper. Um, and then I sewed a little piece of denim right here this little triangle right there too. Um, the, in the original tutorial by the Neva Rose, the pair of jeans that she used actually did fit her waist already, but mine did not, so I had to take in the sides a little bit. I have seen some videos where people make darts in the back of their, um, of their pants to make them fit them better, and I actually did do that on a different pair of pants, but because I wanted the skirt to lay flat, I didn't think that that would work as well. So I did end up deciding to take in the sides, which was kind of a challenge because pants have these I know these things have a name these little like metal things anyways I had to try to avoid those another thing I should say this is like kind of the beginning of me learning how to sew um I've sewed a little bit with my mom when I was little but I didn't really I didn't get my own sewing machine until this summer so I've just been like kind of learning and experimenting not everything has turned out great um I've had to take scrap a few projects. The second thing I have to show you guys is this pair of dress pants. Um, so I've been seeing a lot of pictures like this one where people have um, like the nice cropped dress pants where they're high-waisted and they just um, dress them down, make them look casual like a pair of tennis shoes. So I decided to do this with an old pair of dress pants that I had. Um, what I did was I made some darts in the back like I was explaining earlier, but I also made them higher waisted um, so I I Seam ripped down the legs of the pants and then I re-sewed the crotch like a couple inches down from where it originally was It was a little, originally like a little bit higher up here and I moved it down um, This part is coming apart right now. So that's one of the fixes that I'm gonna have to do Okay, so that's fixed. On to the next one. Um, one other thing I forgot to show you guys with these pants is that um, the bottom hem, I wanted them to be shorter, but I know that there might be a date on the road where cropped pants aren't in anymore and I want to have nice dress pants. And so instead of just cutting off the hem of these pants, I decided to just fold them to the inside and then just hand sew along the inside. Okay, so the next thing that I have to show you guys is my first thing ever that I sewed. Um, I don't have a video, because I didn't base this one off a of video, but I can show you the, try to find the picture that I styled this from, and it's right here. I found it on Pinterest, thought it looked easy, so I tried to make like a little peasant sleeve top thing, um, and then um, I wanted to have, I don't know if the button part was supposed to be in the back or the front originally, but I thought that the buttons would be cuter in the back. Um, I really love these like cloth cover buttons. I think they're so cute. Um, so this is what the shirt looks like. Um, it's just like a cute little crop top. I know that none of the hems are straight. Again, this was the first thing that I sewed since I was in like fourth grade. So um, I am going to try to distract from the terrible hems by doing a little embroidery thing on the shoulder here and then I will show you guys how that looks when it's done. Okay, so what I did was I found a couple of pictures on Pinterest of what I wanted and I had my roommate write this because I could write it but I have terrible handwriting. So um, then I just drew this flower thingy that I'm going to um, make into something that hopefully looks like daisies. Um, so I just pinned a couple pieces of wax paper to my shirt. I think you can use normal paper. I just was like, we have wax paper and why not? So my plan is that I'm going to find my mini embroidery hoop, find a needle, hopefully, that will fit embroidery floss, that I'm going to embroider 
the words and the flowers on there and then I'm going to like rip the wax paper out. Okay, so I just finished embroidering the shirt and it took quite a while, but I actually really like how it turned out. You see it says bloom and then there's little flowers. So the last thing is the thing that took me the longest and is probably the cutest. I'm like more critical of this because it took me so long and I'm upset that it didn't turn out absolutely perfect, but I made this little ruffled wrap skirt thingy. Um, I made it from a nightgown that I got from the Goodwill outlet, some like old lady nightgown thing, but it has this really pretty like blue floral pattern on it and I absolutely just love blue floral patterns. Um, I will link the tutorial below that I followed. It was by Jess Dang, I think, and in hers she used a men's dress shirt, but it worked basically the same using the nightgown. This was took so long because I had to sew ruffles and um, if you know anything about sewing, you know that when you sew ruffles, you're supposed to do a basting stitch and then pull it so that it all like bunches together. I was learning about the tension in my sewing machine at this point and so the thread kept breaking and the ruffles, were, it was a struggle basically. So um, they did not turn out perfect and in fact there is a small hole that I am struggling to find right now, but I'm going to have to hand sew that and then I'll come back and show you guys that finished product as well. Okay, so that is all of the thrift flips that I have for you guys today, but um, if you liked this, hit the subscribe button um, and click the bell to get notifications whenever I post a new video. I'm planning on posting a new video every week with either thrift flips, thrifting videos, or some kind of DIY type stuff, so that's my plan, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks, bye!